attractive in color and brightness and commands premium price. By its mention is often sir in the memory of the average Ghanaian with a story of gloom and doom. This is mainly due to the massive destruction to the environment by illegal miners of the commodity which has led to the pollution of water bodies and a major threat to wildlife. On the Natural Resources Graphic Stakeholders Dialogue in Accra, the focus was on how to exploit mineral resources in an environmentally friendly and sustainable manner. The Managing Director of Graphic Cooperation, Mr. Atuafo, said a two-day dialogue is to achieve a broad consensus on how to harness Ghana's natural resources sustainably for the collective good of Ghanaians. We will not and shall not ignore the evolving menace of unregulated and uncoordinated illegal mining and indiscriminate land use and acquisition. Consequently, we aim to secure a more sustainable future and we must approach natural resource management more holistically. This will entail balancing economic progress, environmental conservation and social welfare with our revenues and growth and developmental aspirations. The Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. Abu Jinapo, said ramping up local content and participation in the mining industry has helped in improving the lot of Ghanaians, but more remains to be done. A few years ago, the thought of sand becoming a scarce resource would probably have sounded ridiculous. Today, however, with some 50 billion tons of sand mined annually across the globe, there are fears that the world may run out of sand in the coming years. The management of natural resources, therefore, is not just about protection and exploitation, but also more importantly, about sustainability, environmental protection, mitigating climate crisis, and ensuring optimal benefit for the owners of these resources. President Kufar was concerned about the wanton destruction of environment and its negative impact on precious resources such as water. He emphasized that natural resources, including lithium, must be exploited and managed sustainably to near to the benefit of even future generations. We cannot forget lithium and the other green minerals, which have been described as the minerals of the future, due to their importance to the green energy transition. Fortunately for us, we have discovered lithium in commercial quantities in occurrences of cobalt, nickel, copper, lead, zinc, and chromium in the country. We should not do with these minerals what we have done with our gold resources over the years. I'm happy to learn that the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources is finalizing a policy document for the exploitation and utilization and management of these crucial minerals for the consideration of cabinet in the next few weeks. Government has since 2017 waged a relentless war against illegal mining but it is yet to achieve the desired results and the dialogue underway in Accra hopes to come up with a strategy to draw up Ghanaians on board the train of mining efficient and responsible manner without dashing the hopes of future generations. Edward Nyakun, reporting for GBC News.